1,500 lacrosse fans came to the New England Sports Center to see the Boston Rockhoppers take on the Rhode Island Kingfish. We're about halfway through the season. A win in this matchup could help launch the Rockhoppers into first place in the North American Lacrosse League. Let's kick things off in the second quarter. Rockhoppers leading the Kingfish 3-1. Andrew Kirkcaldy scores and it's 4-1 Boston. Soon after, a goal from Marty Bowes increases Rockhopper's lead to 5-1. In net for the Rockhoppers is Vince Talbot. Kingfish struggling to get more points up. Ryan Hoffmeister, a quick pass to Kirkcaldy, and he scores. Ending the first half, Rockhopper's leading 6-1. Boston's strong offense outscores Rhode Island in the second quarter 4-0. Going into the third now, Hoppers continue their momentum and break away. Kirkcaldy to Greg Rogowski in front of the net. He scores. 7-1 Boston. Here comes Tom Palasek. 9-1. Hoffmeister. 10-1. Mike Stone. 11-1. Kingfish trying to stay alive. They get their first goal since the first quarter, making it 11-2. Rhode Island fans showing their team some love. But will it be enough to make a comeback? Uh, nah. Mike Stone ends the night with four goals. So does Marty Bowes, Kirkcaldy, and Hoffmeister, each with a hat trick. And Nick Schroeder in net for the home team to end the game. A blowout second half with a 10-goal run for Boston. Hoppers get the win 20-7. They improve their record to 4-1 and, and move into first place in their league. We caught up with Rockhopper's goalie Vince Talbot after the game. Obviously, like the games, I think are close at the beginning, and uh, I mean, I, my job so far is to uh, maybe give them confidence at the beginning of the games and make sure, uh, like, they know I'm back there if something happens. And even if we, uh, I mean, in Baltimore, we fell down, uh, I think, by two goals, and then we came back. So, I mean, I'm, I'm there to give guys uh, confidence, and then they're just doing their job on offense so well. I play a lot of the, uh, a lot of these guys during the summer, and uh, it's always uh, it's always a little challenge because they know where to shoot. I know how they shoot. So, uh, yeah, it's always fun. It's always a battle out there, even though we know each other. We always want to win. The Rockhoppers are off this week, followed by an away game in Baltimore. Boston is undefeated against the Bombers. Both teams will return to the Sports Center on February 23rd. For WMCT, I'm Alexandra Grace.